everybody. Today I have a collective haul of Christmas stuff that I wanna use for crafting in some of my projects for the Christmas 2020 series. So I've got some from Dollar General, I have some from Dollar Tree, some from Walmart, and then I have some stuff that I picked up from Dirt Cheap. So I can start with the Walmart, because I think it's a smaller. I have this little $2 pack of ribbon. It's 12 feet, and it's just like a sort of a shimmery, but not glittery gold ribbon. Yeah, it's kind of, it's actually kind of a, I don't know, it almost has some silver in there too, but it's pretty, and that's a lot of ribbon. That's 12 feet, so that's nice. And it's also one inch ribbon. Okay, so this is one inch ribbon, also 12 feet. And it's the little truck, how cute. Yep, it's the little red truck and it has a little red metallic wiring on the side. And let's see, this one I don't think is wired, but this one is. This one is wired for sure. This one might be, I'm not sure about that. But these came from Walmart and that was it from there. These came from Dollar Tree. This says ribbon. I'm not impressed with Dollar Tree's Christmas ribbon this year. They're just not the colors that I like, the combinations that I like. So yeah, I had to look elsewhere, which explains why I got some of the things that I got from Dollar General and Walmart. But anyway, this is nine feet of ribbon and it's just trim really. This one is like a, I don't know, what did we, what did our parents call this? Rick Rack? This a little pretty trim. And then this one is like a rope with some tinsel in it. So it's gray and silver. Okay, here's, here's some more Dollar Tree. I got these beautiful bags. One of them you've already seen in a project that I did um, that turned out gorgeous. And it was the one with the red truck and the snowy, snowy background. So this one I also plan on using in a project. And it, it's just, it's huge. These bags are enormous. These would be great for just, I mean, to give you an idea, to give you a, um, for you to use for gifts or to use for crafting. They are about 12 and a half inches wide and about 16 inches long. So yeah, they're, those are, these are big bags. They don't have any glitter on the front or the back. There's one. Here is the one with the snowman on it. Yeah, these are large bags. These are gonna be beautiful frame. Check this one out. Look at that. I mean, can you even? This is just gorgeous. Look at that. Look at the plaid horse. Yeah, that's in a little bow, a lot of detail there. There's some snow on the roof or falling down. Also, no glitter on the backside either. Happy holidays. And this one says it's a seasonal bag. This one is about 12. Okay, so this one is the same measurements as the other one, except it's, you know, this one is wider than it is tall, and the other one's tall. And look at this one. Tiny Piney Tree Farm. I mean, the DIYs that come to mind looking at these bags is just craziness. And of course, now that I'm looking at it, I wish I would have gotten more so I could DIY some and that so I could put some underneath my Christmas tree for gifts. Look at this. What? Also, these are not glittery, but there's some glitter because everything in Dollar Tree is doused in glitter. You know how it is. But look at that. It's got the red and the green candy canes in it and the holly. This is just screams vintage to me. This is just beautiful. And no glitter on these bags, y'all. No glitter. These, these are vase filler. I use some of the Halloween and the fall ones to go on a Halloween project that I did. Here is the white and silver. 
Now I will show you what I got from Dirt Cheap. I got this bandana. This is obviously, it says, it looks like it's part of a, a 4th of July collection, but it's red and white, so I think it'll work perfectly for Christmas. I better not do that. I'm probably gonna regret it if I do. I don't wanna make a hole in it, but this will be really cute for a project. These, and they say that they are mm, milestone blocks, but they are large size blocks, which could be painted or DIY'd. And you know that's what I'm gonna do with them because I don't have babies anymore. My kids are growing up. My baby is seven, so if that tells you anything. This one is a table decor set. It's got a stand right here, and then you can stand up either the hello or the farmhouse sign. And this is in a silver color and this is black. You just stand it up in the base. But this also could be used for all kinds of DIY things. This is a menu board. Also from dirt cheap, but originally from Target. You know, the Target always has these white signs with a red bar on the side. All right, moving on to Dollar General. Y'all, these are a dollar. Look at this. This is not, this is an etched, it is cut in there. This is not just a, a little cheap paint over. This is actually like a shiplap. It's open there. And look how well this is done. You don't have glue all over the place. You don't have colors running. This is like the perfect little snowman. You could put him on a tree just like this, or you could DIY with him, which is the most likely thing that I do with him. Check this one out. Really? Look at that. It's gorgeous. This is, this is four by four square. Look at that. It's got a little bit of that brown or bronze glitter on there, but just a touch. Not, it's not overdone at all. It's so pretty. And then I picked up some more ribbons because, like I said before, I'm, I don't know, Dollar Tree did such a good job in the fall and for Halloween with the ribbon, I think, but I just, I think they missed the mark for Christmas. Um, but I mean, Dollar General, what? This is 2.5 inch ribbon and is nine feet long. It is $2. And I think it is well worth that. It is wired ribbon. He is just beautiful. This vintage ribbon with the red truck. Also gorgeous wired ribbon, two and a half inches. And I like getting a variety of sizes of ribbon for bows when you stack the bows. So for instance, this one is 1.5 inch and it was only a dollar. Look at that. But these, whoops, I'm dropping things. Can you, I mean, look at that in a project together. That's so pretty. So pretty, that's gonna look so nice in a bow together, a big fluffy bow. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it for now. So stay tuned because we're going to be doing all kinds of projects with these with these goodies for certain. I'm gonna be doing lots of DIYs and you are going to see some of these featured in Christmas videos. If you don't see them in Christmas, then you are definitely going to be seeing some of these other times of the year. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Not to mention all the bags that I got Ugh, I'm so in love and I cannot wait. So with that said, I'm going to let you go so that I can get started on some more Christmas videos. See you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.